Okay, so let's look at that X modifier. What the X modifier, there's no mnemonic to remember it, but really what you can think of it is extra spacing or something like that. And really what we're, we're going to do is, notice the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to put a slash here and I'm going to put a slash down here. We are going to allow for multiple spaces in our regular expression because with the, the X modifier uh, inside of your regular expression, white space is explicitly ignored. And so if you want to have white space in your regular expression, you will, you will need to use uh, your backslash S to match that white space. The other thing is with, with this is that you can comment inside of your regular expression. So commenting is allowed and the way that you comment is using the hash character until the end of line. So now if you have some complicated regular expression that has a bunch of different parts what you can do is you can do part one. So let's say we do our phone number. It's, it's a simple example. And what we're going to say is we want to capture our entire phone number uh, right here and right here. And we can say, put this capture entire match. And we can go down here and we can say end capture. So already you can see that this is more documented than a, a normal regular expression because it's, it's annotated what we're doing here. And then we can say, uh, well, I want the area code. And I know that's going to be three digits. So we make that a three. And we can annotate that as the area code. And then we can say, well, we don't really know what the next character is going to be, and we don't really want to capture it, but we know it could be a dash, it could be a dot, uh, or it could be some sort of white space. So let's do that and just put that this is our separator. Then maybe we're going to do the next three digits. And our final four digits and um, of course in here you would have to put another separator thing here so you put something like dash dot white space and you could comment these you could say that this is your, your exchange and final digits as an example. And if you look at this regular expression with the exception of my poor handwriting, this is incredibly m easier to read and come back to later and and understand why every part of this in here is is the way it is. So we know that we we want the whole phone number, we want the area code, we have some sort of separator, the exchange, another separator the final digits and it's completely returnable. This is an elimination of regular expressions as write only entities and it begins to make them into modifiable, modular, expressive uh, capabilities that really talk about your your pattern exactly the way you want them to to be and so almost without exception you should always be using the X modifier for any reasonable pattern that you want to do it's going to be more complicated than you want to have to remember later on and by being able to put it on multiple lines by being able to an annotate what each of those lines are or why you, you made that choice, it's clear 
for all time what this regular expression is, what it's trying to do, and if you miss something, or if you decide, oh, you know what, some people also put commas in their separator. Well, I know where to put this now. I'm, I just put it in this character class here, in this character class here, and I've now quickly been able to come back later and add that little character to the regular expression and I think it's believable that even if this was six months or two years later I could have come back and quickly added that comma, uh, comma in there because of the commenting that is a part of this. So I cannot emphasize enough how important this X modifier is to, to make your code um, a, a strong software engineering tool that you will be so thankful to use in, in the future. And, and so use it as frequently as you possibly can.